All right, welcome back to the Team O'Neill Rally School. I'm Wyatt. What's the difference between four-wheel drive and all-wheel drive? The truth is it was pretty clear cut back in the day and now mostly through marketing decisions you see a lot of different companies touting all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive and on-demand and all of this other four motion and whatever you might see. So let's break it right back down to the fundamentals, the difference between four-wheel drive and all-wheel drive. This is four-wheel drive. In this case, you've got your engine, your transmission, and a transfer case. And your transfer case can either be in two high, four high, or four low. That means it's a part-time four-wheel drive system. You drive it normally in two-wheel drive. When you engage the transfer case, one way people think about it is the front drive shaft and the rear drive shaft, you know, it splits the power 50-50. That's not even really it. It's more that the front and the rear drive shaft get 100% of the power all the time. That transfer case is locked so that the front and rear drive shafts always get the same amount of torque and are rotating at the same speed whether you're on or off the gas. That's four-wheel drive. It also has low range for low speed off-roading situations, but that's the definition of a four-wheel drive vehicle. What other times is a vehicle going to be considered four-wheel drive when the front and rear drive shafts are turning at exactly the same speed? So you're only going to find that with a transfer case or with something with a locking differential. So this is also a four-wheel drive vehicle. This isn't a part-time four-wheel drive vehicle. This is going to be considered a full-time four-wheel drive vehicle. What that means is this is all-wheel drive. But Land Rover, in order to preserve their integrity and make sure that this still is capable off-road, it's got a locking center differential. That means if you want to go off-road or you're driving in the snow or for whatever reason you engage that center differential, the front and rear drive shafts turn at exactly the same speed. That makes this four-wheel drive. It also has low range. This Subaru right here is all-wheel drive. What that means is it doesn't have a transfer case, but it doesn't have a locking center differential either. Um, it's got a viscous center diff, you'll see torsion center diffs, you'll see clutch style electromagnetic hydro clutch jargon center differentials, um, but this I think everyone would agree is an all-wheel drive car. It varies the amount of power from the front to rear through a center differential that is not locked. It is all-wheel drive. So any of these full-size pickups you see, Ford, Chevy, Dodge, what have you, almost always are gonna be part-time four-wheel drive. That means it's two-wheel drive unless you put it in four high or four low, at which point the front and rear shafts are mechanically linked um, and turning at exactly the same speed. You don't wanna drive those on the pavement like that, uh, but on the snow or in the mud or off-road for whatever reason, outstanding. This thing right next to it is a BMW X-Drive. Um, it's got a, probably a plate style center differential. It might be a Torsen, I'm not sure exactly, but it is all wheel drive. Uh, unless for some reason this has a locking center differential, which I highly doubt if it does, good on you BMW. Um, but other than that, because it sends differing amounts of power to the front and rear, that's gonna be all wheel drive. You'll see some of these. Let's go look at the Mini. So this is a mini Paceman all four, basically. It's a BMW all wheel drive system, but this is what you're gonna find. Some people call it on demand, whatever it might be. It's front wheel drive until the front wheels spin and that engages a clutch type differential and makes it all wheel drive. You used to see this in uh, the Volkswagen Synchro system. Uh, you know, Volkswagen Synchro van was the same way. You're on the throttle when the wheels spin, that engages your all wheel drive system. The Ford Focus RS right behind it has a highly advanced all-wheel drive system. Um, you can put it in a drift mode and go 70% rear and 30% front or whatever it works out to be. So you can adjust the amount that it's splitting the torque from the front to the rear. Uh, that's an adjustable or an on-demand style all-wheel drive system, whatever you want to call it. Um, similar to, not exactly like, but somewhat similar to a Subaru STI. The older ones with the DCCD, Driver Controlled Center Differential. You could lock that thing. I would call an STI four-wheel drive if you've got the center diff locked for sure um, but you can also vary that uh, torque splitting power of the center differential with a little rolly scrolly thumb wheel in the car but I'd call that it has the option at least to be four-wheel drive so all of these Subarus are all-wheel drive um, you know that Ford Explorer is four-wheel drive it's a selectable part-time four-wheel drive you know the tractors over there are four-wheel drive uh, and hopefully that 
just shines the light on what's kind of the baseline truth of the universe and what's marketing. Four wheel drive, drive shafts are rotating at the same speed, all wheel drive they're not. The truth of the matter when you get into four wheel drive vehicles, you know, Jeeps, pickup trucks, whatever it might be, as soon as you're on a slippery road, really if you've got an open front and rear differential, you can get tires spinning and you know, they're only two wheel drive, but we can cover that another time. Um, Long story short, hopefully that clears up what's kind of marketing jargon that's kind of muddying the waters out there and what's four wheel drive is four wheel drive. And for whatever purposes you might use it for, I hope it serves you well. Thanks for watching. Team O'Neill Rally School, teamoneal.com. If you like car videos and driving skills and sliding around sideways, subscribe to the channel. Um, go ahead and like this video if you would and add any questions you got in the comments. You know, that's what we're here for. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.